What up, guys? So I'm gonna make a video today that's gonna be a little different than the last couple I've made. Um, still going with the uh, health and wellness scheme, but instead of the movement and the exercises that I've been doing, I figured this might be more helpful to people who are at home. Um, I've decided I'm gonna make a steak dinner tonight. It's literally the only thing I've looked forward to all day. Uh, with my diet being a little different now because I'm not as active. Normally in my day to day, I'm walking around the gym, moving equipment, teaching classes, you know, 10 to 12 personal training sessions. Now I have to only teach one class at home virtually and then I'm relying on my workouts and going for walks. So I'm not as active as I normally are. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I'm doing a carb cycling approach. I'll do three low carb days and I, with high fats. And then on the fourth day, I flood myself with carbohydrates to restore any glycogen that I have been burning from my workouts. I just feel good doing it this way. You know, I'm focusing, today's a high fat day, so I'm focusing on fattier meats, um, you know, good quality grass-fed butter to cook in, um, a lot more eggs for breakfast than normal, um, you know, nut butters, uh, almonds, things like that are more frequently eaten on days like this. And I'm keeping my carbs low, usually just around my workouts. Um, fruit and vegetables uh, pretty much makes up the bulk of those. Um, and I kind of cut out starchy carbs for lunch. I had sweet potatoes, but other than that, my carbs are relatively pretty low on these days. So tonight, I'm going to make a steak that I've got from the local farm. Peza Farm is awesome. They're right in Johnston, Rhode Island. They're right up the street from my gym. A nice family-owned local farm that I'd like to support, small businesses, because I am one. Uh, so definitely check them out. they got awesome prices. I think I got grass-fed beef there that was from their farm. It was like six ninety nine a pound. Um, tonight, what I'm going to make is right here. This is the beef loin sirloin steak tips. Um, very lean cut of beef, very beautiful cut. It's fresh. Uh, when I pulled up that day, they had just air packaged all these and sealed them and put them right in the freezer. So I was the first one to buy um, from this haul here. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make the perfect steak right at home. And the recipe I'm using here is gonna be based off of Stan Efferding's vertical diet. That's the uh, guidelines I follow. Quality red meat. Uh, cooked to your liking, you know, there's different ways and temperatures, but um, you know, I like mine a little bit medium rare I'm gonna cook it in a grass-fed butter and I'm gonna season it up uh, If you have a good steak, don't put a bunch of stuff on top of it You want to put you know, just maybe some salt and pepper, which is what I'm gonna do. So let's get this shit seasoned All right, so what I'm doing here first, um, I already padded dry my steak It's all cleaned off and it's on the plate there and I'm gonna season it But while I'm doing that I'd like for this Kerrygold butter here to just gently melt into the pan here. So I'm taking a serving size of that, which is a tablespoon that I'm measuring out here. I'm gonna take that, coat the pan with that, and let the steak sit inside of that to give it a nice sear. Once that's all melted in there, let that melt in. I have it right now on a low heat. My stove goes on to an eight. I have it right now at about a three, so I'm gonna let that sit there for a couple of minutes while I season the steak. So now that the butter is getting all melted into the pan, I'm just gonna gently season the steak here. And uh, what I did was I just did a couple of pinches of black ground pepper, and I grounded a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt, which I'm running low on, not a lot left in there. But enough for this steak for tonight at least. Um, if you have a good steak, you don't want to put too much stuff on top of it because you want to actually taste what the meat tastes like. So just a gentle little season in there on top. The butter is melted. And now I'm going to take this piece. And I'm going to sear that on a medium heat right now for four minutes. And let that sit. Put my timer on before I have to flip it. All right, so while that's cooking on one side, I'm gonna now season the other side, so a little bit of black pepper. A little bit more ground sea salt. And now the key is to put a little bit more butter on the other side to let that melt, so that when I flip the steak over, there's enough of the butter on both sides here. So you can see that cooking. Got a little bit more butter here. I'm gonna let that sit on top. And I still got about two minutes left on this side before I flip it over and go to the other. You see as it's cooking there, I'm gonna let it sit for two more minutes. I don't wanna move it around too much because I want it to sear nice on that side. 
And as that butter starts getting hot, that'll melt over the top, and that'll be what I use to cook the other side for another four minutes. So I got about 90 seconds left on that bottom side before I flip it over. All right, so I just flipped it over once, so you see how one side's done. Got a nice light color to it. Gonna let the other sit, side sit now for about four more minutes. It's gonna come out so good, I'm pumped for this. It's literally the only thing I've been looking forward to all day. All right, we got about 20 seconds left on here. I'm gonna take this steak that I've been cooking on the stove top, put it in the oven that's been preheated for about 350, probably only for about a minute or two just to let it finalize. Then we're gonna cut that bitch up. There it is, the perfect steak. So that recipe was from Stan Efferding's Vertical Diet. Uh, if you guys are interested, um, anyone can do it. You don't need to eat meat to follow that diet. I do recommend it. It's uh, to optimize gut health for performance, for aesthetics, just for general health. Uh, you can follow it if you're a vegan, pescatarian, anyone can follow it. Red meat is a big part of the diet, but it's not necessary as long as you are following the other things as far as micronutrients and um, trying to bring up any deficiencies that you may have that could be fixed and altered with diets and uh, possible supplementation. But that only took me, I don't know, about 10 minutes to make, four minutes on each side, two minutes with the prep and the little salad, the whole thing took me like 12 minutes. So I'm gonna eat this thing because I've been thinking about it literally all day. And uh, if I can make more meals like this and you guys wanna see it, by all means, I usually cook in this Ninja Foodie here, um, but this had to be done in a skillet. I guess it didn't have to be, but I followed the recipe exactly how Stan had wrote it. And um, we'll see how it comes up. I don't know if you can see that, guys, but that's cooked perfect. Hence the name, The Perfect Steak. Bomb. Well, if you made it this far, thank you for watching. Make sure you get your vegetables in. Make sure you stay safe. Don't go in big crowds. Don't talk with your mouth full especially on the internet, and uh, check out the vertical diet.